Hello everyone, welcome back to Drawing with Megan. Thank you for being here today. All the materials you're gonna need to draw with me today is a piece of paper, I'm using my notepad, and something to draw with. I'm using a marker, but it could be a pencil, a pen, anything you have on you. So, I'm gonna draw out of this bucket some of our suggestions. Let's see, close my eyes, shuffle them up. All right, what do we got? So today, we are gonna learn to draw Campbell. Campbell has requested that we draw a kitten. So let's learn how to draw a kitten. To learn how to draw a kitten, well, I'm gonna start with, so kind of how I've been drawing all of my animals that I've been teaching you guys how to draw. A very simple way to draw the head is to start with a big U. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Start with a big U like this. And then kittens, they have pointed triang triangle ears. So we are going to use the top of this line, bring it down to make a little triangle. Same thing on this side, bring it down to make a triangle. And then we're just gonna connect them across the middle. So there we go, we have the head and two triangles. So another triangle would be the nose. So I'm gonna do a little triangle right in the middle of the face, uh, a little down from center is a triangle for the nose. And then for the mouth, what I'm gonna do is across the bottom, I'm gonna give her a smiling mouth and then connect it to the nose, just like that. Then we can give two eyes right there. So now we have a head for the kitten. So now we're gonna give her some legs and a body. So first we're gonna do the uh, front legs, which is gonna be where I bring a line down, just like that, kind of like a really tall lopsided U. <laughs> Then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side and connect it at the bottom. So now I have two front legs. Then for the back legs, I'm gonna draw a hump like this and then a little hump out like that. So we have a back leg. That's kind of where the knee comes up and that's the little foot. So she's crouching. Here we go, another one. Then it needs a tail. So we're gonna do a wiggle like that, a wiggly line just like that. And then we're gonna do the same line parallel, which means right next to it. So a little beside just like this and then connect at the top. Now, this is where you get to get creative. Uh, so whatever markings you want your cat to have, if you want it to have stripes like a tiger, if you wanna have dots, if you just want it to be a white cat, you can just leave it like this and be white or black or brown or whatever color you want. Um, I'm gonna give my kitten some spots. So how I'm gonna do that, if you would like to give spots, you could copy what I'm doing. So I'm gonna give one big spot around the eye here. So I'm gonna draw just like that. So there's a spot right here. Then I'll put, how about the tip of the tail can be a different color. I'll give her a couple spots on the rest of the body, just like that, just a couple spots. And there's my kitten. You can add all sorts of different things to your scene. So I'll give her a little ball of yarn. So I'll just do a circle and then some lines connecting and a little piece of string coming off. So a little ball of yarn. You could also give her a little stuffed fish toy like this. Give it a little fish. So there I have my kitten. Uh, yours might look a little different, that's okay. You can uh, make how your cat however you would like. Uh, you could add some whiskers, actually didn't add any whiskers, but you could add some whiskers. Uh, you could add all different colors, all different patterns. If you want to go back, rewind the video, pause it, follow the instructions, go for it. But I would just love to see all of the different things you draw. So feel free to, in the comments, Post your pictures so that I can share them, so I can see them. I would love to see all the drawings you guys are doing. And I can't wait to draw with you again tomorrow.